Greetings everyone, I'm Zarfri, your cosmic presenter. Today I'll be taking you through the remarkable history of the artificial heart. But first, let me introduce you to our very special guest, Le Antoine Delacroix. Give it up for him. Biggest applause. Good evening everybody, my name is Antoine. I study cardiology at the Demikov University back in Jupiter. He is an expert who will be guiding us on our journey through the heart's greatest hits. Our story begins in the mid 20th century when daring inventors decided to replicate the human heart. I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out. A famous pioneer is Vladimir Demikov, who successfully transplanted artificial hearts into dogs who got to survive for about a week. And don't forget his experiments creating two headed dogs! Later, in 1969, Domingo Liotta and Dentonier Cooper found a way to replace a dying man's heart with a mechanical heart. The 1980s brought us the Jarvik 7, a compact but distinctive artificial heart created by Dr. Robert Jarvik. It was a significant step forward in making artificial hearts more practical. Imagine carrying it though. It was like having a pet rock, but less fun. Mon ami, your jokes are awful. We can cut that, right? In the 2020s, humans witnessed a groundbreaking development of bioengineered hearts. These were crafted from a patient's own cells. This innovation promised truly biological hearts that can adapt and grow with the patient. Indeed, we are in the 21st century. We have everything, but these bioengineered hearts still save lives. Let's celebrate the indomitable spirit of humanity. Anyway, it's been a pleasure, Antoine. It certainly has. You know what would be the perfect ending for this program? I'm a robot. I have an artificial heart too. I may not have a pulse or a heartbeat, but I know you want to hear what this sounds like. Come on, come on, come on, bring the bimpo closer. Let's hear what an artificial heart sounds like.